Okay, welcome to Scripting for Administration, Automation, and Security. Today we're going to be talking about uh, basic web authentication uh, using Python, and in particular uh, using Python modules and how we might be able to uh, brute force uh, web authentication. One of the things I want to cover first, and this is a uh, Python syntax, I think it's going to be really helpful to understand um, this idea of the try, accept, else, and finally uh, scenario with, with Python. So in Python, you can think of this as if you're used to maybe using a, a case scenario in other languages. With Python, you can try and uh, attempt to execute a command. And if that command were to fail in a certain way, you can execute new code. Um, then there's you can also put an accept with a wildcard to execute code for any failure. Uh, the else case is for the times where there's no failures. And then the finally case is where you can put code whether it failed or didn't fail. So this is just sort of a, a general template. An example might be you, you would like to try to open a file. But let's say there's an IO error. So you could put in an exception, um, can't open that file name. Um, or you might want to do just a general exception, you know, something went wrong. Um, if there's no exception, then, you know, else print the file name has, you know, uh, so many lines in it, for example. And then the finally is what code is executed, whether there was an exception or not. Using um, Erlib2 is going to be the bulk of our focus for doing this web authentication. Uh, there's a couple of really good resources here. I, I highly recommend you check these out. There's the Python for Beginners and, of course, the python.org. Uh, both document the URL lib2 uh, functionality very nicely. I will uh, recreate some of that here uh, to give you an overview. So basically, URL lib2 is just a module. It's a Python module for um, using websites and data. Um, what you want to do just basically in this sequence is um, you want to set up a request. So in this example, I'm saying request is the Earl lib2 module request with some website. And then you want to actually make the request and record the response. So I made a variable response equals and it's Earl lib2 Earl open of that request. Um, and then you can put the actual response into a variable that you might want to read later. So I'm just saying the variable HTML is the response read, and then you can print out that response. So that's the, the general syntax for using the URL lib2. Using the URL lib2 uh, for basic authentication is nice because you can keep it all within the same module. Uh, URL lib2 uses this idea of realms and Realm is basically just the site that you're at. So you need a user ID and password for um, a certain site. URL lib2 calls it a Realm. If you don't know what site it is or want to use generic, you can just say no Realm. Um, the first thing you want to do is set up your, your basic authentication handler. And this is just really, it's just, a, you can almost think of it as a, a password manager um, for your user ID and password combinations for a certain URL or a, a realm. Again, if you don't know that realm, um, you can just use the URL lib2 function HTTP password manager with default realm. So that's an easy one to use. Uh, a lot of this uh, documentation here is coming right from the python.org docs. So the sequence, what you want to do is you want to create a password manager. And, and you can see here um, we're using the, um, again, the password manager with default realm from the URL lib2 module. Um, 
then you can add the username and password to that password manager. So um, we have password manager, we're gonna add password. We're using the no, none realm. We have our website um, and the page or the, the area that I should say maybe a folder that has the basic authentication on it. And then we're adding a username and password. So set up the password manager, add the username and password to the password manager. Now what we're doing here is we're creating a handler to actually uh, work with that uh, basic authentication handler. So here we're, we're just calling it handler and that's our, our um, gonna be using our password manager. Now we're gonna create an opener to build the request. So uh, URL lib to build opener of that handler and then finally make the request. So opener.open um, some URL. Uh, what you can do then uh, is once you're finished with all that, you can install the opener. So anytime you make a call now to URL open, um, it will automatically use that opener with that user ID and password um, for the HTTP basic authentication. So any subsequent request to that website will automatically use that user ID and password. Um, here again is just a list of some really good resources I highly recommend you check out. Um, they're available in the attached PowerPoint.